In this video, we will look at solving value problems that might have two variables in it to solve. With two variables, we will find our equation not just from the last column, but also we'll get a second equation from the first column. This will give us two equations with two variables so that we can solve the problem. In this problem, Scott has some money in his pocket. You recall that the value table that we set up was we took the number times the value of each individual piece would equal the total value in those pieces. Here, Scott has quarters and dimes. We're not given any information about the quarters and dimes, or at least the number of them. So let's use Q for the number of quarters and D for the number of dimes. The value attached to each of these would be 25 cents for a quarter and 10 cents for a dime. To get the total value, we multiply these together. Quarters times 25 is 25 quarters. Dimes times 10 is 10 dimes. Whoops. 10 dimes. We're also given some total information. The 215, the 215 is the total amount of money. Our money is found in the last column where we put the 215 in cents to match the 10 and 25, which are also in cents. We're also given the information that there are 11 coins total. This is the number of coins. Number is the first column. There's a total of 11 coins there. To get our equations to solve, we'll use the last column like before, 25Q plus 10D, equals 215, but we will also use now the first column. Adding the number of quarters and dimes will give us the total of 11. Quarters plus dimes equals 11. This gives us a system with two variables, which we know how to solve. We might use the addition method to get opposites in front of D by multiplying the second equation by negative 10 on both sides. When we do, the first equation is still 25Q plus 10D equals 215. The second equation, after distributing, is negative 10Q minus 10D equals negative 110. Adding those equations together, the dimes will subtract out, giving us 15Q equals 105. Dividing both sides by 15, and we'll find out that Q is equal to 7. We still need to find our dimes, though, which we can find by going back to one of the original equations. The second equation is probably the easiest to use. Q plus D, or 7 plus D, equals 11. Subtracting 7 from both sides, we find out that D, or the number of dimes, is equal to 4. We now have our solution. There are 7 quarters and 4 dimes. In part 2 of this video, we will look at a second example, which we use this exact same process to find our two equations from the first and last columns.